Moreover, Heidegger shows us that world and consciousness are not only good at hidden, but also good conditioning. The phenomenological texture and tone of the world varies in relation to the character of the consciousness which is present within the world, and which thus allows the world to become present through consciousness and with consciousness. Consciousness is not an abstract mechanism of thought or sensory processing which exists independently of an inert and passively objective world. As Contemplate's successors Shelley and Heidegger have shown us, the world which we encounter is a world which is within consciousness, just as consciousness is within the world. Aside from whatever world might be thought to exist beyond such conditions, in reality the world which we actually encounter in reality is one which is by necessity a world in relation to consciousness. We can therefore see that consciousness is fundamentally relational. The world becomes present through consciousness, and consciousness itself cannot be understood apart from its presence within a world. Consciousness also brings things within the world into relation with one another, as the world's constituents come to co-participate within the horizons of consciousness. This bringing into relation is absolutely essential in our efforts to understand Gebser's narrative and evolving structures of consciousness.